In this corner, we have the MXL USB.006. And in this corner, we have the MXL 2008. Both of these mics are condenser microphones, although the diaphragm in the MXL 2008 is a little bit larger. They both have a cardioid pickup pattern. Obviously, the USB.006 is a USB microphone, while the MXL 2008 will, of course, use an XLR cable and will require phantom power. So let's hear how both of these microphones sound on voice for podcasting, YouTube videos, voiceovers, and things like that. A USB condenser microphone versus a standard XLR condenser microphone. So let's go ahead and start the mic war. Here we are in Pro Tools and we have samples of the MXL USB microphone and the MXL XLR microphone testing a sort of medium diaphragm condenser microphone versus a XLR a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Which one sounds better? We have raw samples and we have processed samples. All of the processed samples are run through Isotope Nectar 2. That's because Nectar 2 has everything you need to produce a professional sounding voice track. Things like EQ, gate, deesser, compressor, limiter, so on and so forth. The raw samples have been raised in volume just to make things easier to hear and easier to test. If, for example, we were listening to this coming in at around zero, condenser microphone, and then listen to the process, which obviously is going to be much, uh, much louder. The MXL 2000, it doesn't make for a very good listening or testing experience. So the raw samples have been volume adjusted, not volume match, just adjusted higher. So with all of that said, let's see which style of microphone sounds better. A USB microphone, 16-bit USB microphone, medium diaphragm, versus a large diaphragm XLR condenser microphone, which obviously requires phantom power. So let's go ahead and start this mic war. Right. MXL 006 USB microphone from around 12 inches away, about one foot away from the MXL USB 006. The MXL 2008 from around one foot away the MXL 2008, a large diaphragm condenser microphone from around one foot away. The MXL 006 USB microphone from around 12 inches away, about one foot away from the MXL USB 006. The MXL 2008 from around one foot away. The MXL 2008, a large diaphragm condenser microphone from around one foot away. The MXL USB 006 USB microphone, medium diaphragm condenser microphone from around six inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you want for your podcast, for your narration, voiceovers, YouTube videos, and things such as that? The MXL USB 006. The MXL 2008 from around six inches away. The MXL 2008 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you would want for a YouTube video, for narration, for voice work, and things such as that? Again, from around six inches away. The MXL USB 006 USB microphone, medium diaphragm condenser microphone from around six inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you want for your podcast, for your narration, voiceovers, YouTube videos, and things such as that? The MXL USB 006. The MXL 2008 from around six inches away. The MXL 2008 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you would want for a YouTube video? for narration, for voice work, and things such as that. Again, from around six inches away. The MXL 006 USB microphone, medium diaphragm microphone from around two to three inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you would like for your podcast, your YouTube video, or other close voice work? You can really come in close here to this microphone and Try to take advantage of a proximity effect really close about one inch away let's let's back up to around two inches away from the mxl usb 006 medium diaphragm condenser microphone the mxl 2008 from around two to three inches 
away. Listen to the sound of the voice of this large diaphragm microphone. Is this the sort of sound that you would want for your production, for your podcast, for your voiceovers, for your YouTube videos? The MXL 2008. You can really notice when we really start to get in close on a large diaphragm condenser microphone like the 2008, it really starts to open up. You can almost get that instant sort of radio voice just by getting in very close there to your large diaphragm microphone and really take advantage of that proximity effect. In this case, we are using the MXL 2008 large diaphragm condenser microphone. The MXL 006 USB microphone, medium diaphragm microphone from around two to three inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you would like for your podcast, your YouTube video, or other close voice work? You can really come in close here to this microphone and try to take advantage of a proximity effect really close, about one inch away. Let's, let's back up to around two inches away from the MXL USB 006 medium diaphragm condenser microphone. The MXL 2008 from around two to three inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice of this large diaphragm microphone. Is this the sort of sound that you would want for your production, for your podcast, for your voiceovers, for your YouTube videos? The MXL 2008. You can really notice when we really start to get in close on a large diaphragm condenser microphone like the 2008, it really starts to open up. You can almost get that instant sort of radio voice just by getting in very close there to your large diaphragm microphone and really take advantage of that proximity effect. In this case, we are using the MXL 2008 large diaphragm condenser microphone. And there we have it. Which microphone sounded better? Was it the USB condenser microphone or the standard condenser microphone, the XLR? with separate phantom power microphone. Which one performed better? The medium diaphragm. As you heard there, the medium diaphragm does not give you quite as much of a proximity effect as you get with a large diaphragm condenser microphone. This may be good, this may be bad, but in this case we are testing the MXL 006 USB medium diaphragm condenser microphone versus the MXL 2008 large diaphragm condenser microphone. Which one of these microphones won the mic war?